Hey everybody, this is Kevin from Kevin's Card Collecting and welcome to another Fairfield Friday. And we've got some family mail to open up as well as some 88 tops we're going to open up. So let's see who the first one to join us here in the chat is. Still waiting, it's about 5 minutes after 4. And Hats McGee, first one in here. Welcome brother. Glad you could join us. It's always fun to watch and see who the, the first person is going to be. So today, sir, you have the honor. Very, very cool. So yeah, as you can tell by the title and what you see on the screen here, I've got a box of Fairfield I want to open up. I've got a couple packages that came in the mail. Uh, one of which I kind of know what's in it, and I kind of don't. It's because they said they threw in some extras, so I don't know what the extras are. I'll tell you more about that. And then I've got another package I have no clue what, what's in it. So that'll be a fun surprise. And I've got a brand new sealed, although the wrapper's kind of torn on me here, but I've got a sealed 88 tops box. And kind of like what we did last week with the 89 Donruss, I'm going to crack open this pa uh, box and I'm going to open up just one stack, probably the top left stack. Um, I don't have enough time or energy to go through the whole box tonight, so I'll just do one stack at a time. But that'll give us, what, nine packs, I think? So that'll work out well. So how are you doing there, Hats? <laughs> You're still proud of your boys. I'm proud of them too. I really am. I, uh, I'll be honest with you, I did not know much about the Astros prior to the series. Um, I guess, well, I started watching them, of course, against the Yankees in, in the postseason games, but, but I couldn't have told you anybody's name on the team other than maybe Verlander. But uh, I did kind of grow to become a fan just by, uh, by way of watching the games and getting to know the players. So I am... I am now an Altuve fan, a Springer fan, a Brantley fan, a a Cole fan. A, well, of course, I knew Granke, uh, being a former D back. Um, but the whole lineup, I just I I did grow to like the guys and um, good good group of fellows there. Really good group. So if you're wondering why my camera is bouncing around, it's because I've got the charger plugged into it, and I keep bumping the cable, and it's making the camera. Let me try to adjust something here. Bear with me, it's going to get bumpy for a second. Okay. That might be a little better. We'll see. Okay. So, and one other thing too, I don't know if, if anyone notices, my backdrop constantly changes. It's because this is, this desk is not just for my card videos, it's its for everything. It's where I do all my homework, my studying. Uh, I do a lot of work at my desk here. And when I do decide to go live, I need to, I push my laptop back to the back of the desk. I lay out this uh, t-shirt, which, you know, I haven't talked about this shirt in a while. My very first Patreon pack that I got from uh, Jabs had this t-shirt in it and it made no sense to me. I'm like, what in the world did he send me a Crawford's t-shirt for? And so, but somebody had watched that video and responded to me saying that Crawford's was an old minor league team back in the, I don't know, thirties or forties or something like that. So, um, once I realized it is baseball related, I'm like, well, perfect. I need a, an, a mat to lay my stuff out on. So, uh, I just started using it as a mat. I laid over my, my keyboard of the laptop it extends all the way out to the front of my desk here, and it gives me a nice, uh, smooth, soft work surface to, to work off of. And then, of course, every time I do set it up, I mount different displays in the back. Uh, these are empty boxes, but those are boxes I've opened up recently. I usually have a, a baseball for decoration. Um, sometimes I've got a bobblehead, which I'm not too keen on because it's a pirate, and I'm not a pirate fan by any means. 
So, but yeah, it just kind of makes it fun. And I don't know if you if you knew, but these two jerseys you see here, the Diamondback uniforms, these are actually, uh, well, those are my speakers to my computer. And the, the, the uniforms are actually little, like, I don't know what you'd call them, like a koozie cover. Uh, they're made to slip over water bottles. Kind of like a koozie cup for a can. These are made for bottles. But they just happen to slip over my speakers so perfectly. I just use them for that. So that's a little behind the scenes as to how I um, set up my lives every, every time I, I film. Like I said, the rest of the week, all this stuff is gone. My computer is moved up uh, right right about here, and it's where I do my work. And uh, but it also makes a big, uh, great backdrop. I've, I got the picture in the back there of a, a ball field. It's got my title, so I just bring up that photograph and uh, put it up on the screen. That just kind of makes my backdrop. So hey, John Arcade is with us. Good to see you, brother. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Bit of a slow start to this video. Um, but they'll, people start trickling in. I know they're probably getting off work. You know, Hats, I was nervous. When I heard that Grinky was going to pitch, um, I got a little nervous for you because up to that game, Grinky has not performed well in postseason games. So I, I did wonder, why are they going with him? Uh, I thought maybe a, a Cole would be a better choice. Um, but I, I will hand it to the manager. He he nailed it. Granky did a great job in in a, in the clutch situation there. He he pitched a great game. Um and I honestly my feeling is I think they pulled him too soon. I think he started to show a bit of a, a struggle there. And instead of letting the instead of the coach letting him work through it, he just he pulled him too soon. And then that just started that snowball effect, and the the closers and the relievers were just were not getting it done. So, anyhow, that's my two cents. I'm no expert, and I don't know the the Astros as well as you do, but just from uh, my perspective, that's what I saw. I think they should have left him in a little bit longer. Um, oh, okay, twenty five per Perez is with us. Welcome. We'll probably get started here in about two more minutes. I'll start a quarter after. And it's a uh, quarter after four out here on the West Coast. I'm not sure where all of you are. I know where Hats is, but uh, I'm not sure where the rest of you all are. But it is four four thirteen out here on the West Coast. The sun is still shining. Although, I guess that's going to change here. Uh, is it Sunday night or Saturday night? I'm not sure which, but the time's going to change. John's in Florida. Okay. I have been to Florida. NCJ Sports Cards. Welcome. Wilmer's in the house. See, now people are starting to trickle in. This is great. NCJ. I don't recognize you, sir. I'm going to go to your channel real quick. And if I am not subscribed to you, I'm going to. Oh, I am subscribed to you. I apologize. Yeah, NCJ, welcome. I am subscribed to you. Wilmer, I got you. Of course, Hats and John, I got you guys as well. So, glad you all could make it. We're going to go out one more minute, and I'm going to start opening up. But uh, to kind of rehash what I was going over earlier, uh, of course, today's Fairfield Friday, so I'm going to open a box of Fairfields. Those are always fun. They, they really are. And uh, I've actually got a couple hits so far out of maybe the four or five boxes I've opened. I have got a couple hits. I got a, um, a Triple Threads Pujols card. That was like extra thick. Um, it wasn't a relic or anything. It was just a really thick card, but it, it was really cool. But the last Fairfield I, I got, I did get an auto. Uh, a John, what was his name? John Naylor? Nader? Something like that. I, I've never heard of them before, but it, it was an on-card auto, so that was pretty cool. So we're going to do the Fairfield. 
Then I'm going to hit this uh, family mail I got today. I've got two packages in the mail. One of them, I'll go ahead and tell you, this this first one here came from uh, ABC's 123, or was it ABC's Need 123, uh, Anthony. He did a, he on Thursday nights, he does little auctions. And this is from a little over a week ago, last Thursday. I bought into his auction. And I'll explain more as I open it, but I, I won like a little raffle giveaway prize. So he threw in some extra cards. So I know what's in here from the auction, but I don't know what the extra cards are. So that's going to be a fun surprise. And then I also got a surprise package in the mail today from Grant Nicklin. I'm sure most of you know Grant. He's uh, he's in the streams all over the place and visiting all the different channels. And he is actually the inaugural winner of my home run derby that I hosted uh, last month sometime. He won the first game I ever hosted of that. So congrats to him. And he... Uh, very generously has packaged up some stuff to send to me and I have absolutely no clue what's in there. So that'll make for a fun surprise. And then last but not least, we're gonna open up some 80, yeah, 88 tops. Um, I got a sealed box here, never been out of the wrapper. Uh, I'm not gonna open up the whole box. I'm just gonna do one stack. So I'll, I'll open up the, what is it? Nine or 10 packs, probably nine per stack. And I'm gonna open up the top left. All right, let's see. NCJ calls them the Washington Expos. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Or the uh, the Montreal Nationals. <laughs> Whichever way you want to say it. John says it's already dark out there in Florida. Yeah. You're a... Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. That's natural light that's coming in my window. So I've still got a lot of daylight out here in the west. So, hey, Stimmers Hits is with us. Welcome. What year is that? I've got a box of 88 tops here. We're going to open up one stack. Not the whole box tonight, but just one stack tonight. And uh, hopefully, I'll, well, I'm actually looking for the, the Griffey Jr. rookie card. I think that'd be a great find out of that box. Never hurts to, to find Griffey Jr., Dave Durango is blowing us a kiss. Well, smooch is right back at you, Dave. Yep, so we've got the 88 tops. We've got a box of Fairfield we're going to go through, and then I've got a couple packages that came in the mail. So I want to check out what these, what these are all about. Yeah, um, what, have I been saying 88... This is 90, guys. I, yeah, I'm Dave, I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Um, this is a, yeah. You know, you start to see so many baseball cards, you, you lose track. Correction, this is a box of 1990 tops. <laughs> 1990. Yeah. It's a second year, but it does, like, the picture on the box there does show the Gold Cup rookie. So hopefully we'll get one. If not, I suppose I can just cut that picture out of the box with an X-Acto knife. Philip, <laughs> Welcome, sir. Glad you made it. I hope I didn't cut into your stream. I, I did notice you were running a little earlier, but I'm like, I got to start because I think Elkanon's coming on in less than an hour, so I wanted to get my stream going before he jumped on. So a little bit of an overlap. So the 1990 is Topps Gold Cup. Uh, yeah. I, I guess you could say that. I've seen Gold Cups in other years, I believe. I might be mistaken. But to my knowledge, that indicates a rookie card, so. And I don't, yeah, because there was no uh, 89, unless, like you said, unless it was in the traded set, which I don't have any traded uh, series from 89. <laughs> anyway, you know what? We'll pull what we pulled and we'll have fun with it <laughs> regardless of what year or what's what. It, it'll be fun nonetheless. So, and Philip, as I promised you earlier, I am going to open up some Fairfield. I think, 
I don't know if you can tell. That kind of looks like it might be is it the 90, uh, 90 FLIR, which I think is what you pulled out of your box earlier. I think it's got that same white star on the blue. So anyway, so we'll get that started here in a second. Ah, uh, that very good point, Dave. Um, I do have the Frank Thomas rookie. However, it has his name on the card, which is not bad, but it could be better if it was the, the blanked out one. Yeah, I, I do have one. I should have brought it out to display it, but I'm not sure where what box it's in, so I'm not going to rummage through it right now. Um, I do want to get... Give me one second. Let me set up my little... I forgot to set up my stands. Just in case we get a hit, I want to have something to put it on. And I'm, I'm being optimistic by doing this. Yeah, you know, and I totally forgot about the Frank Thomas card. I should have had that out and ready. But, uh... Okay, let's see. Traded set, house blew it with his card. You can find it in the Tiffany 89. Okay. Hat says, I got to let my phone charge and shower. Thanks for having me. You're welcome, Hats. It's, uh, it was no trouble at all having you in here. So, okay, well, it's uh, it's already after 22 after 4 out here on the West Coast. So let me go and get started. So we're going to start out with the Fairfield. All right, Dave. Good luck to you. Hope they get. Uh, hope they got the holiday cards. I saw somebody open some last night. They were a hoot. Some of the, the photoshopped uh, things they drew on the cards were pretty funny. Okay, I know Philip doesn't care too much about this, but I am just kind of curious. So this box was packaged. June 26th. And I guess maybe the reason I care is maybe if enough people check the dates that um, maybe we can start to develop, I don't know, like a metric on which package boxes were had better cards in them or something. I don't know. I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but anyway, there you go. So we'll split the pack in half, and it is, lo and behold, 90 FLIR. That's what we saw, that little star down there. 90 FLIR. So we'll open up that here in a bit. Man, I opened up that box and I swear dust came out of it. And it's affecting my nose. Man. It must be old cards. <laughs> That'd be funny if, if somebody staged it like when you pop it open like a, a burst of dust pops flies out. That'd be kind of funny. Uh, yep, same as you had earlier. Yep. Here, we'll put that up. Yay for FLIR 90. All right, so let's get started here. We've got AL Leaders card. We've got a Rodriguez, Pena, and Ortiz. Let me get some more backlight here. Okay, Paul Molitor with the Braves. Brian Harper. Not Bryce Harper, Brian Harper. Kelly Mann, that's a rookie card. A whole bunch of 90 scores here right off the bat. Eddie Murray, there you go, Hall of Famer. Curtis Wilkerson of the Cubs. Man, look at this, this is a bunch of 90 score. Tommy Gregg. There's a different one. Dave Steeb of the Blue Jays. And right back to the 90 score again. Rob Murphy with the 
Boston Red Sox. There you go, Philip. Jim Wolford of the Expos. Right back into the 90 score again. Steve Davis of the Indians. Eric Davis of the Reds. And Mike Heath of the Tigers. <clears throat> Mike Easler of the Yankees. Another Red Sox, Sammy Stewart. Hey, Canadian Cardboard. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome. What year is that? That's an 86 Fleer. That's a design I don't know if I've ever seen before. That's kind of rare. And right back into our 90 score again. Wow. Jim Clancy of the Astros. Okay, here's an 89 Fleer. Manny Trio. Well, I loved uh, 90 Fleer the other night when I pulled that Griffey Jr. rookie out of the 89 Fleer. That was, that was beautiful. Rick Ownbay of the Reds. Or, I'm sorry, Cardinals. Canadian Cardboard, you dropped your like. Dropped your like. Okay. Interesting. I won't take it personal. Ed Vandenberg of the Rangers. Harry Spillman of the Giants. Mike Keith of the Cardinals. And now I know that's 86 Fleer. See, I've learned. But what I really want and what I really miss is 90 score. If only, oh, look at that, 90 score. This is like almost a, a full pack of 90 scores in here. I think there's enough to make up a whole pack. Scott Bankhead of the Mariners. Oh, okay. I. I wasn't taking it personal. I was just kind of playing along, but I didn't quite understand what Canadian was saying. In your like pile. Yeah, I dropped in your like pile. Uh, Tim Conroy, 86 Fleer. Andy McGaffigan. Mike Heath. This is a predominantly uh, 90 score and 86 Fleer pack. Rob Deere. <clears throat> Back to the 90 score. We got a Brent Main. Jeff Reed. Billy Hatcher. Ozzy Virgil. Not bad. Phil Negro. Not a bad one. Now, was he really pitching at that age? Look how, I mean, not to insult the guy, but I would assume that'd be like a manager's card, not a pitcher's card. He's looking up there. Scott Bales. Bill Gullickson. Lee Gutterman. And, oh, well, it's a different score. we got score 91. Joe Slazarski. That's kind of a fun name to say. Slazarski. Keith Moreland of the Orioles. Greg Kaderet of the Yankees. Ron Tingley. Ron Tingley. I'll just leave that one alone, but Fleer 94 for the Angels. It's uh, a nice shiny card. Bob Abreu of the Astros. Uh, 
Rusty Greer. That's kind of like got a 3D effect to it. Top Stadium card. That is, what year is that? 97. Tops 2004 National League batting average. We've got Todd Hilton, Mark Loretta, and Adrian Beltre. I've heard of Beltre. Oswald of the Astros. Uh, Roy Oswald. Oil Can Boyd. They've even got his nickname on there. Oil Can Boyd. Randy Tomlin of the Pirates. Elkanon. Hey, Elkanon. Uh, Philip, you're still streaming, apparently. So you may want to go rectify that. Uh, Todd Van Poppel. Todd Van Poppel. Uh, Vicente Padilla of the Rangers. And Shannon Stewart of the Toronto Blue Jays. Okay, well, that was rather blah. Unless you're a huge Score 90 fan, then this would have made your day. So that's half the pack. And then I want to... Let's see, we'll go ahead and open up the Fleer 90 just to break up the pace a little bit. Sally's with us. Sally, it's got to be late where you're at, but I'm glad you're up and, and joining us. So yeah, this is Fleer 90. Alrighty. Got some stickers. D6G, welcome. Glad you could join us. Okay, Sally, it's 11.30, so it's still November 1st. But once it hits midnight, you're going to be in the future. We'll still be on the first. Uh, we got Greg Briley of the Mariners. Darnell Coles of the Mariners. Lenny Dykstra, everybody's favorite. Nelson Liriano of the Blue Jays. Rafael Palmero of the Rangers. Lance Blakenship of the Athletics. Mike Fitzgerald of the Expos. Tim Cruz, pitcher. Candy Maldonado of the Giants. Chris Carpenter, pitcher for the Cardinals. Dale Murphy of the Braves. Dennis Rasmussen of the Padres. There we go. Got a Padre. That's good. Bob Guerin of the Yankees. Lee Smith of the Red Sox. Shout out to Phillip. And the last but not least, Guillermo Hernandez. So there we have it. A bunch of 90s and 80s cards. And I'm still shut out on D-backs. When will I get an early 80s D-back card? That's what I wanted to, to see. You know, it's kind of funny. Last weekend, I went to a card show here in town, and I walked up to one of the booths. There was a vendor, and he was sitting behind the table, you know, eyeballing all the customers, you know, seeing what we're doing. And I'm, lo I'm looking over the cards, and I'm checking out all the old stuff. And he said, are you looking for anything in particular? I said, yeah. But I said, so far, nobody's got what I'm looking for. And he goes, oh, I guarantee I've got it. I've got everything. You just name it, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you. I said, I don't know. Every, no one else has got what I'm looking for. He said, well, what are you looking for? I said, early 80s D-back cards. And he just paused, just gave me a funny look. And he says, oh, you mean Diamond Kings cards? I said, no, no, Diamondbacks, you know, the Arizona Diamondbacks. And he kind of looked at me like either, one, I'm trying to pull a fast one over on him, or I was a dummy. 
And he, he kind of grinned, and I, I, I broke out laughing. I couldn't hold it, but uh, we had a good chuckle over that. Coops cards, welcome. Baseball demos. Troy, at least you got a nice Troy. Oh, Troy's with us. Oh, sorry, you're still at work. Okay. We'll whisper, Troy. <laughs> oh, that's right, Sally. You're, a, you're I know you're a Red Sox fan, but Philip was in here earlier, so I kind of got a thing going with Philip and the Red Sox. But I'll definitely give you some shout outs too. Primate, did I miss Primate? Oh yeah, Primate's here too. Hey, Primate, sorry I missed you. You know, it's funny, Troy. You want us to whisper, yet when you do all capitals, that indicates yelling. So. It's like you're yelling at us to whisper. <laughs> kind of funny. Oh, and by the way, I did get your uh, email, Troy. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, that'll work out. That'll work out just fine. All right, let's see. Back to, back to work here. Uh, look at more 90 scores again, guys. 90 scores. Gary Pettis. Ron Kittle. Bip Roberts. John Ullerud. Dave Winfield, Scott Kulba, Mike Stanton, Frank White, not Frank Thomas, but Frank White, Danny Heap, shout out to Sally Lloyd, Boston Red Sox, Danny Heap. Oh, Sally, and he's not smiling either. I'll try to find you some smiling cards. I know you, you like guys that smile. Oh, Troy, no, don't worry about it, Troy. I was just teasing with you. I don't mind one way or the other. I just kind of found it funny that you were joking about the noise, yet all caps means yelling. I found that ironic. Uh, yeah, 90 score variety of colors, yeah. It is unique in that sense. Uh, more Fleer 90, Mark Eichhorn. Jerry Royster of the Padres. Okay, so now we're getting into some uh, different style of cards here. Hey, there we go. Sandy Alomar Jr., there we go. That's a good one. Now I don't I don't want you guys to talk too much about this, but I just want to point out to you that that's the if you're gonna pose with a bat for a Fleer card, have like numbers and stuff on the bats. You can never go wrong with numbers and stuff. Just saying. Yes, finally, 87 tops, Troy. You're right. I know. Something different. Uh, Chuck Carey. In fact, there's a lot of 87 tops in the back half here. Javier Ortiz of the Astros. Back to 90 score again. Chuck Finley of the A's. Dave Hollins of the Phillies. Hey, guys. I think I just found an error. Look at this. So his name is Dave Hollins, right? But on the back, it's Dane Hollins. So I don't know which is correct. I would assume Dave is correct. There's more Daves in the world than Danes, but uh, I wonder if that, I don't have the list in front of me of errors, but I wonder if that popped up on the error uh, card list. I don't know if somebody's available to check it out right now. If like if you go to the trading card database and go to their uh, listing of error cards, a Fleer ninety. Maybe if you could look up U uh, forty three, and maybe they've got that as a an error variation. Oh, I don't know, unless you're really interested in looking at it. But okay. Will Clark, that's a good card. I don't, that's a, a unique design. 
It's a score 90, though. It's an insert for the Dream Team. Score 90. Okay, so that's out of the FLIR update set. Yeah, I guess that's what the U would stand for. Anyway, just kind of interesting finding things like that. Uh, Candy Maldonado, FLIR 90. Uh, 1980 World Series champions, the A A's, I guess. Oh, well, game four. Well, I guess I don't know if they, the uh, A's sweep the Battle of the Bay. Okay. All right, back to 87 tops. We got Rick Anderson of the Mets. More score 90. Al Newman. Tony Bernazard. Bernazard. Bill Alman of the Pirates. Mike Scott. I'm guessing another Dream Team insert. Yep. John Morris of the Cardinals. Andy Van Slyke of the Cardinals. Jeff Dedman of the Braves. Mitch Williams, Dream Team. Mark Bailey. Bob Boone, there we go, well, something different, 93 Fleer, rookie card. Roberto Hernandez, Stadium Club. Scott Stutter of the Indians. Uh, okay, back to the cards, Jack Clark of the Padres. This has got to be like the least diverse set of uh, Fairfields I've ever seen. Uh, Ventura, Robin Ventura, there you go. Brady Anderson. In fact, I think Philip had a bunch of 89 Fleers in his, his box today too. Uh, Brady Anderson. Cecil Espy. Carney Lansford. In fact, there's quite a few 89 Fleers here, so I'll, I'm just going to kind of be careful in case we get an odd hit. Wink, wink. <laughs> okay. Uh, Cameron Drew and Steve Wilson, Major League Prospects. What is this? 88 World Series... Saxes Saxes speed wins game four. Okay, that's an eighty nine Fleer insert. Okay, Todd Simmons, for, uh, pitcher for the Padres. Ricky Jordan, Phillies first baseman. Eric King, pitcher for the Tigers. Scott Geralts for the Giants. And our last, oh, Carlton Fisk. Okay, got a Hall of Famer there at the end for the Fleer. Not too shabby. And here's a little more recent cards here. Uh, Bobby Bow, well, that's 2002. Bobby Bow for the Cardinals. Jose Valverde. That's a checklist card. Checklist card, really. It looks like his main card. Interesting. He is he is really surprised. He said, I can't believe I threw a ball. It bounced halfway to the plate, and the umpire called a strike. I am shocked. Yeah, checklist 2012. On the back of a Jose Valverde card. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Uh, Alfredo Simon or Alf Alfredo Simon. Simon. 
of the Orioles. Carl Pavano. Josh Willingham. And a, oh, this is different. A Brett Saberhagen. Some sort of pop up. Yeah, I guess you, you pop it out and it's like three dimensional. Okay, I get it. And, well, I'll, I'll play with that later. With my luck, I'll end up tearing them in half here on live stream. And I don't want to do that. All right, well, not the most exciting Fairfield I've ever opened. I'm sure you'd all agree. But still fun nonetheless. So I will set those aside. All right, so I've got some mail that I wanted to go through. Uh, this one came from Grant Nicklin. I don't, I haven't seen Grant in here. I don't know if he's here today or not. Um, so I was kind of hoping he'd be with us when I opened it, but I'll, I'll wait on this one first. Maybe I'll give him more time to to join us. Uh, but this is a a package that I got from uh, Anthony from ABC Needs One Two Three. I think is the name of the channel. And on Thursday nights he does um, auctions. And uh, I bought into some of his auctions, and he had this uh, little game where if you buy an auction, uh, basically you bought a stack of cards, not knowing what was in the stack. And if in that stack was a checklist card, you won like a free set of team cards for your favorite team or whatever. So I did buy a pack, and I in the pack was a checklist, so I got to pick a team. I picked the Diamondbacks. So we'll see what I get. Well, that so much for saving that envelope. Which is the ones I bought and the which ones I won? I'm not entirely sure. Because they were all old. They were all older cards. So we'll just go through them and see what's in what here. Let me get caught up here real quick. Philip can't figure out why he's still streaming. I think Philip's just trying to build up his watch hours. He just figures if he lets it run and run and run and run, then he builds up time. And I think that's a great idea. <laughs> um, I probably missed a bunch of stuff here. Uh, Hinch called a great game. I think his reason for not putting Cole in was admirable. I think he was spot on with think Harris would do better. Hmm, could be. Yeah. Coop's cards. I'll, hey, I'll put my D back card to the my D bag card to the side for you. Um, Sally says you can still use it with tape. That's true. All is not lost. Donald would be proud of me if I could figure out a way to reuse it. So for his sake, I ought to at least make an attempt. Funkin Mess says, "Hola, mi amigos. Hola, Funkin, cómo estás?" Uh, and then Troy says, hey, Kev, is it all right if I announce a live? To yeah, absolutely. I think you just did. <laughs> but uh, have at it. Give the specifics. I'm not going to be around tomorrow. I've got errands to run and, and uh, other appointments I need to make. So I will not be around tomorrow, unfortunately, to watch anybody. Um, Kevin, do you know Hinch used to manage the D-backs? Uh, hats, I did not know that. Um, he probably managed them during the what I call the dark years when I was not following baseball. Uh, after the D-backs won back in 01, I did back off uh, for a while, and I missed a lot of those years of the D-backs. I'm getting caught up to speed on who did what and who played where and all that, but uh, no, I didn't know that. So thanks for uh, informing me of that. Okay. I've been spinning these cards around enough in my hands. Let's uh, see what we got. Uh, we got a George Wright of the Rangers. 
Joel Davis of the White Sox. There's an old, these are old 86 cards here. Steve Farr of the Royals. Uh, Nolan Ryan on an NL uh, career strikeout leaders card. Yeah, it's got Steve Carlton and Tom Seaver on there, too. Ruben Sierra. Uh, let's see. Um, Troy, cool things. Probably it'll be late tomorrow. Okay, probably around 9 or 10. You're breaking a box of Topps Gold Label. Okay, spots are available. So anybody and everybody who is available... Check out Troy's channel and uh, see about getting into his break there. He's got some good Topps Gold cards available. So let's support him and help him out. I might make it back for that, Troy. I didn't realize it was going to be uh, later at night. 9 or 10 Central, that would put it, uh, what, 7 or 8 West Coast? Uh, Deerman's with us. Deerman, Deerman, Deerman. Howdy, howdy. Uh, there we go. Oh, here's some old 84 cards. Billy Martin, manager card. Juan Bonilla, an old Padre card. That's nice. Chet Lemon for the Tigers. And Jody Davis for the Cubs. I think I spent like a dollar for each of these little stacks. Blenda says, hi, Kevin. Okay, Hats, we'll tell her I said hello back. I'm glad she's there. Angel Zalazar for the Royals. Terry Forster. Steve Baker. That's 83, isn't it? Yeah, that's the 83 design. Uh, Doug Bear. Alvin Davis. Rupert Jones, Mike O'Berry, Rod Carew. Uh, get used to this one, guys. I think I get a few of these in these packs. I remember seeing a bunch of the 86 Tops Carew cards. Uh, here's one of the little Sport Flicks cards. Uh, looks like a Traber or Trar for the Orioles. Uh, Traber, yep. And then a Bill Madlock and a Wade Boggs card. Okay, so we got Wade Boggs on an 83 Tops card. Eighty-four, I'm sorry. Eighty-four card highlighting the eighty-three leader. Um, what is Troy saying? Hinch was fired from the Diamondbacks on July 1st, 2010, following a 31 to 48 start. Eek, that's rough. To the 2010 season overall, he compiled 89 and 123. Yikes. Eek, not good, Troy. Yeah, I can see why they uh, might have said thank you, but no thank you. Yeah. All right, back to some 84 here. We got Dane Yorg. So there's a Dane that plays, unlike that Dave Dane guy that we had earlier. This guy's name is Dane. Interesting. Cecil Cooper for the Brewers. Harold Baines of the White Sox. Gene Garber of the Braves. Jesse Barfield. Dave Schmidt. Billy Sample. Paul Assenmacher. Ron Kittle. And John Cruck on a Sports Flicks card. You can see John's face there, and then there he is at bat. Of course, John, I know he played for the Phillies, but uh, I most remember him as being a Padre. Growing up as a Padre fan, I was a Cruck fan. Alrighty, Orioles, Mike Boddicker, Domingo Ramos for the Mariners, Bill Lasky for the Giants, 
Mario Soto. Not to be confused with Juan Soto. Jerry Hairston. Gary Carter, all-star card. Very nice. There's that 86 Rod Carew. I knew it would be coming up again. Uh, now, yeah, I remember this one when he opened them. The Sisler and Trainer cards. And I don't remember who they are. And that's just a checklist. So I'm not sure if they're... Uh, well, I don't even want to guess if they're managers in the league, if they even have anything to do with baseball. They look maybe like they're politicians or something. I don't know. Sisler and Trainer. Tom Seaver. And finally, an Eric Plunk card. Eric Plunk. It's a fun name to say. So I think that was all of them. And I don't see... Hmm. Okay. Not to complain, and I'm not complaining because I love getting these cards, but I, I do believe there was supposed to be like an extra set of cards for winning the the checklist game, but that's okay. Let's get these bagged up. Still trying to give uh, Grant uh, Nicklin a few more minutes to hopefully join us. I emailed him this morning saying I had gotten his cards and that I was going to open them up on the live stream today. And he is back east, so I was hoping he would have been off work by now. Although I do believe he works retail, so maybe his store is still open that he works at. Uh, what do we got here? Got to run. Remember tomorrow? Yeah, Troy. Hey, thank you so much for joining us, Troy. Uh, yeah, remember everybody tomorrow night. Nine o'clock central, more or less, mas o menos. He'll be doing his tops gold buy-in. So yeah, check him out. He got the prices listed up there earlier in this chat. Buy in if you can. Support him. And speaking of support, guys, if you've not subbed up to anybody in the chat, please do so. Let's all support one another and help each other out. We grow by helping others grow. That is absolutely the truth. I've noticed whenever my uh my growth becomes stagnant in my channel. Um, I, I realize it's because that, uh, it's no coincidence. When, I, when that happens, I find myself not helping others either. And then when I start helping out others, my numbers start to grow as well. So they go hand in hand. Well, shucks. I really wanted to wait for Grant, but... And I want to do the, the tops last, so... Well, what do you say? Let's let's do the tops now. Let's let's hold off on Grants only because I want to give him a chance to get in. So what I've got here is a box of 1990. I was making the mistake earlier of saying 88, but uh, a box of 90 tops. I'm looking for the Griffey Jr. and obviously the Frank Thomas rookie as well. And wouldn't that be awesome if we landed on the the Thomas error card? That would be something. Excuse me, I had to take a swig of water there. Uh, Brian, don't... Um, Brian... Yeah, I'll just say your name, Brian. Uh, excellent point, that's what I like about the card community. Yeah, we are, you know... You'd have to be, kind of be silly to get selfish about this hobby. There's The monetary value, if, if any of us grew up in the 80s and 90s, we know uh, all about baseball card values, and they're not what they may appear to be at times. Um... So we just do it for the love of sharing, really. I would not enjoy this if I didn't have a community to share it with. So, yeah. Okay, Brian's fine. Good. Thank you, Brian. I'll stick with Brian. So let's let's tear into this. Brand new. Opening for the first time. Ah, oh, fresh box. Nothing like it. Alrighty, look at that. Just that's like a treasure chest of gold right there. 
Look at all those Spanish doubloons we found at the bottom of the ocean in a treasure chest. Beautiful. Uh, did I get the 90 box on eBay or a card store? No, I got this actually as part of, um, I believe this one came from Don Blomdahl's uh, 777 giveaway that I won a couple weeks ago. And this was part of my prize. He sent me this box. So I don't know the history of where he got it. Let me just make sure it's... Yep, it's empty. I got the whole top left. I'm just going to open up the top left tonight, guys. I don't have the time nor the energy to, to go through the whole box. Sally wants the gum. Yeah. Um, yummy. <laughs> so... There is a lot of gum in here, that's for sure. Let's make room here. Alrighty, so let's attack it. 1990 tops. I can't recall the last time I opened a pack of 90 wax. Alright, let's see this. It's sticking. Eh, not too bad. And no staining either. A little rough spot that can smooth out. There we go. No problem. All right. That was good. No damage. So let's turn these cards around. Check out the, the insert. You can win a, a buy you a t-shirt. That's You could probably find those on eBay now if you really want one. All right, let's get going here. Uh, Paul Coleman, number one draft pick for the Cardinals. Kelly Downs for the Giants. Jim Acker for the Blue Jays. Storm Davis for the Athletics. Ed Nunez for the Tigers. Tom Neidenfer for the Mariners. Rick Mahler for the Reds. Terry Steinbach for the Athletics. Tony La Russa for the Athletics, manager card. Juan Samuel for the Mets. Dave Henderson for the A's. A lot of Athletics in this, this pack. A lot of A's. Lynn Dykstra for the Phillies. I still don't know what he did, but apparently a lot of people don't like him. And I haven't taken the time to look it up. But uh, yeah, he must have done something people don't like. Jay Bell for the Pirates. If I remember correctly, he ended up in the with the D-backs at some point, I think. Is he the same Jay Bell that played for the D-backs and wore glasses later in his career? I think so. Roger Craig, manager for the Giants. Bob Dernier of the Phillies. And finally, Harold Reynolds for the Mariners. So I would say that was an athletics heavy pack. Legal problems? Okay. NASCAR 9012. How you doing, brother? Haven't seen you in a while. All right. Not too bad on the gun there. All right, Terry Kennedy for the Giants. Randy St. Clair for the Twins. John Smiley. That's for you, Sally. Don't ever say nobody smiles in baseball. John Smiley did. Gus Polidor. Gus Polidor of the Brewers. Gary Templeton of the Padres. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Paul O'Neill for the Reds. Shane Raleigh for the Twins. Kevin Gross for the Expos. And our insert cards. Brian Holman for the Mariners. T. 
Tim Tufel or Tufel of the Mets. Hey, a checklist. Carmelo Castillo of the Twins. Craig Biggio, there we go. Hall of Famer. Craig Biggio. That would I believe this would be a second year card. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, 89. Yep, 89 had his rookie card, so this would be a second year card. Steve Davis for the Indians. Adam Peterson for the White Sox. And Willie Frazier of the Angels. Um, let's see. Yeah, the gum smell. Yeah, you don't you don't get that smell anymore nowadays though, unfortunately. They're so dried out, there's just no more fresh gum smell. Giants, Candy Maldonado. Ken Williams for the Tigers. Oops. Jeff King for the Pirates. Alan Trammell, not a bad one. I believe he's a Hall of Famer. Jay Howell. Ken Caminetti. Rob Deere for the Brewers. Bobby Bowe for the Pirates. That's a nice one. I I think you can still find those on eBay, but those uh, old Topps Binder card albums. Very, very pretty. Ah, oh, I saw the Rookie Cup and I got excited. Uh, Tom Gordon for the Royals. Kurt Schilling. Ding, ding. Okay, for me, guys, oh, my word. Guys, look at this. We got the Thomas Rookie right behind the Schilling. Finally, we get a hit, guys. <laughs> It took a while. This was a long stream to get something real good. But back to back, I got excited over Kurt Schilling. I'm a Schilling fan. Um, man, I wish Troy were still in here. I know Troy's a, a Schilling fan as well. We got the Kurt Schilling followed up with the Frank Thomas rookie card. Uh, not the one that is most desirable, obviously, the one with the, the blank nameplate. But it is still a hit. Awesome. Let me get a sleeve for that one. Very, very cool. Back-to-back -back cards there. Get these guys sleeved up. And let me get him in a top loader. Get him all protected. Uh, Sally's got a shilling too. Yeah, shilling cards are great. Uh, even outside of baseball, he's just a wonderful person. So I, I greatly respect him. So there we go. Finally, guys, I get to use my little easels back here. I was wondering if they were going to stay empty all night. And we've still got three, six, six more packs to go after this. So still a chance for that... Uh, Griffey. In fact, I'm going to be optimistic and make room for my little stand there. All right. Jose Guzman with the Rangers. Nick Leva for the Phillies. Uh, Randy Velarde of the Yankees. Brett Saberhagen, All Star card. And Steve Bedrosian for the Giants. The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon is a good read. Is that a book? You've got five Griffies? Are they all of the 90 uh, set, Sally, or are they all just different Griffies? That's awesome, though. Five Griffies, good deal. NASCAR, did you already said what your favorite colors are? Um, no, I, I don't remember saying what my favorite colors were. 
Uh, Stephen King wrote that book. Interesting. I've never heard of that book. Brian? Yeah, Sally, I think, did uh, Donald say he's got like over 1,000 or 5,000 or some <laughs> insane number of Griffey cards? That's, uh, I know, he, I think he said he's got over 1,000 Ichiro cards. So, yeah, he's he's quite the collector. Bud Black of the Indians. Todd Worrell of the Cardinals. Dan Pasqua of the White Sox. Greg Mitten of the Angels. Greg Briley, another rookie for the Mariners. Wrong one, though. Joe Price. Yeah, NASCAR. Um, that, forgive me, that, that's an odd question. Um, I, I like all colors. I... I don't know. I guess there's colors I don't like. I, I don't like black. I don't like brown. But uh, any other colors, I would say, are fair game. I like all colors. Uh, Dave Dravecki for the Giants. Steve Wilson for the Cubs. Hey, there you go. You can buy, buy yourself a little hat. Sid Bream of the Pirates. <clears throat> Dan Bellardello. But Lardolo, I don't know. It's funny. I I have I struggle more with uh, like English American names than Hispanic names. It's kind of weird. Bernie Williams, Bert Blylevin of the Angels, Joe McGrain for the Cardinals, Dan Murphy for the Padres. NASCAR, can you choose only one favorite color, please? Um, I like blue. I do like blue. I don't like feeling blue, but I like the color blue. Dan Murphy for the Padres. Hey, there's a different type of card. Uh, a. Barlett Giamatti. Was he the commissioner? Uh, president. Yeah, commissioner of the MLB. For only five months, but he was president of the National League for th almost three years. Interesting. And Joel Skinner for the Indians. Yeah, Sal, I don't think you could catch up to Don, so don't even bother trying. I'm not going to try. Ramon Martinez of the Dodgers, Ernie Riles of the Giants, Tony Fossus of the Brewers, Dave Schmidt of the Orioles, Tracy Jones of the Tigers, Larry Sheets, Ricky Jordan, Chuck Finley, another binder card. Phil Stevenson for the Padres, Charlie Librant or Lebrant for the Royals, Brian Clutterbuck. Brian Clutterbuck. You know he was teased as a kid. Bo Allred. Matt Young. Atlee Hammaker. Calvin Chiraldi of the Padres. And Daryl Boston for the White Sox. Boston for the White Sox. Sounds like a trade. I'll give you Boston for the White Sox. Yeah, Giamatti died shortly after banning Pete Rose. Interesting. I wonder if that had anything to do with it. You know, stress stress on the heart will really affect things. All right. I'm going to get another swig of water. I need a little energy boost here. So I took a swig of Mountain Dew, and now my water. All right, let's get back into this. Let's let's pep this up a little bit. I feel like we've been kind of 
spinning our wheels here. Let's let's get excited. Let's get some hits. Let's break the gum. Set that aside. And let's do some damage here. Oops. Wrong. Too many cards there. All right. So we got a sweatshirt. Jay Booner of the Mariners. Oh, Sally, don't feel bad. You're you're in, you're in the future. I'm still living in the past. I'm still November 1st. You have a wonderful evening. Thanks for staying up with us. Um, I'll try to get some hits in your honor tonight. So have a wonderful evening, and I will see you later. I probably won't make it to Donald's stream tomorrow. Uh, hope, hopefully you can make it, but I won't be there. Um, but I will definitely catch you next week in some live streams. So have a wonderful evening. Jeff Houston for the Expos. Cal Ripken. There you go. In honor of uh, Donald Blomdahl. There we go. Let me sleeve him up. Just because I got to sleeve up something. <laughs> I got sleeves to use and no cards for him. There we go. So we'll set that one there for now. But he might get bumped if we pull that Griffey. Luis Soho for the Blue Jays. Mark Williamson. Jeff Musselman, another checklist. John Costello for the Cardinals. Jeff Montgomery for the Royals. Joe Bovere for the Braves. Dan Plesak for the Brewers. Kirby Puckett, there we go, Hall of Famer. Start using these sleeves up now. Here, we'll, so he can share a stand with old Cal. Brian, appreciate the respect. You know what? Yeah, absolutely. You got to give the Hall of Famers their due. It's not a rookie or anything spectacular, but it is. Whoop. Okay, talk about respect. I just dropped him. Sorry. Here's what I'll do. He'll get that stand. I'll bring in another stand for Mr. Puckett. There we go. I think that's fair. All right. Stan Javier for the Athletics, Von Hayes for the Phillies, and Robin Yount. There we go. I'll give Mr. Yount a, a little blanket to tuck himself into. And I'll break out my last little stand. So hopefully I will bump one of these gentlemen for the Griffey. Come on, Griffey. All right, three more to go. Alrighty, Lou Whitaker for the Tigers. Tom Kelly for the Twins. Uh, yeah, baseball demos. I got those at Walmart. They're like 97 cents each. They're just little easels. There, you'll find them in the craft department, back by like the painting supplies, and they actually sell like little mini canvases that you can paint on and, and display on the easel. But they're a 97 cents. The only thing I did extra to them was. The, the hinge here comes like free spinning, so this thing can open and close. I got it to the right angle I wanted, and then I, I dropped in some glue on the back just to keep it from folding up on me. But yeah, they're pretty solid, pretty sturdy. Uh, Mike Witt for the Angels. Doug Drabeck for the Pirates. Will Clark, that's a nice card for the Giants. I've got a little mini, we'll call it a mini PC of him. I've got several of his cards even though I don't particularly collect him, I do have his cards. Uh, Dion James of the Indians. Andre Dawson for the Cubs. Mike Gallego for the Athletics. There's our little insert. Uh, Tops Magazine. Hey, Will Clark. There's another Will Clark. All-Star National League. So that kind of goes hand-in-hand -hand with our, uh, our AL star, Ripken. Clark was the NL star. There we go, Sandy Alomar. I'm going to sleeve him up. That's a good card. I actually do PC him. I've got a special collection just for him. So I'm going to have him share a spot with Mr. Yunt. Do 
Brian's looking for a Will Clark auto to pair with the Matt Williams. You, you got a Will, you got a Matt Williams auto. That's cool. That's very cool. And Al, Alan says, nice Sandy Alomar. Yep, it sure is. Sure is. White Sox, Donnie Paul. In fact, I don't think I've got that Sandy Alomar. Um, I've got several of his cards, but that doesn't even look familiar to me. So I don't think he's in my collection yet. Uh, Stan Belinda for the Pirates. Rob Murphy for the Red Sox. Sally's not here, but this is for Sally. Chuck Carey for the Yankees. Deion Sanders. There we go. And a Kevin Mitchell. Uh, let me sleeve these up. I mean, nothing wrong with these guys. And I've never, I've never seen this Deion Sanders card before either. <clears throat> here, I'll share him with Kirby. And Kevin Mitchell. I believe he was a Hall of Famer too. But I'll I'll check that one out later. Uh oh, Alan just mentioned it, huh? You just met you just mentioned Kevin Mitchell and I pulled it. Well, do me a favor, Alan. Can you start mentioning Griffey Jr. for me, please? I would really appreciate that. Uh is that a Sanders rookie? I don't know. I've never seen the Sanders card. It uh it is. I, I had no idea. Yeah, because it shows him coming, uh, although he was with the Yankees for like half a year, it looks like, or part of a year. Um, but then, yeah. Good call, Alan. Excellent call. Just for that, he gets his little, his own personal top loader. And Mr. Puckett, I'm not a huge Kirby Puckett fan, so I'm just going to set him off to the side. Oh, our first broken piece of gum. <laughs> and we'll get to it in a minute, but look at look who's on the back. Look who had the gum. <laughs> oh, Kevin Mitchell. See, guys, we start talking about people and they start showing up. So I've only got two packs left. We need to start talking about Griffey. Griffey, Griffey, Griffey. Ken Griffey Jr. Okay, here we go. Last two packs. Randy McCammett for the Giants. Uh, Dale Murphy for the Braves. George Bell, that's a nice card for the Blue Jays. Joey Bell, not to be confused with George Bell. Joey Bell for the Indians. Benito Santiago. There we go. Allen, you'll appreciate that one. One of the all-time best catchers. He deserves to be protected. There you go. Thanks for mentioning his name. Alan, I needed that. <laughs> we need to get their names in the chat if we have any chance of pulling them. That's Apparently, that's the rule here. So, thank you. Uh, Clay Parker for the Yankees. Rick Leach for the Rangers. And <laughs> there it is. There's the Kevin Mitchell card. Um, well, let's see. Where did I put the other one? What did I do with that one? I don't think I did anything with it. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Here, I'll set these I'll set the pair back there. Mr. Schilling can keep an eye on them from up top. Alright, insert card. Bill Kruger for the Brewers. Scott Bradley. It's the wrong Mariner. Kevin Bass for the Astros. Delino De Shields for the Expos. Nelson Centovania for the Expos. Eric Davis, another All-Star National League card. Juan Agosto for the Astros. And our final one is a Pat Combs for the Phillies. <laughs> yeah, pull a John Watham for, for jabs. You know, he's got enough Watham cards. He can open up a John Watham store and stay in business for years. So, uh, Indie Dave Comics, welcome, sir. Welcome, welcome. Glad you could join us. 
We've still got a little ways to go here. I've got one more pack of 90 tops, and then we're going to hit this box that uh, I got from Grant. And I have no idea what's in it. So this, this truly is our last chance for the Griffey Jr. card. This pack here. But we did score the Frank Thomas card, guys. We did score the Frank Thomas rookie. Which most people would argue saying that that is the best pull out of the 90 top set. Even more so than Griffey, but uh, I won't get into that debate. But um, if you want to put them on an equal level, Griffey and, and Thomas, we got half of the, the, the perfect match there. So, and, uh, and not to be shunned, we got the Kurt Schilling rookie card as well. Um, although I think you've got to be more of a, a Schilling fan to appreciate it. But uh, that was, and those two cards were back to back. We pulled those cards. Uh, one was right back to the other one. So that was pretty cool. All right. So our last, last pack here. All right. Rookie Gold Cup card, the Gary Sheffield card. Not too shabby. Bill Swift. It's a Mariner, but not the one we're looking for. Mike Moore. Mark Gubik, Gubiksa. Of the Royals, Tony Armas, Alvin Davis, Paul Molitor, Lance Parrish, there's our insert, Tim Burke of the Expos, Bob Nepper of the Giants, Eric Yielding. I don't think it's going to happen in this uh, this video, guys. I do have more cards in the box, but that'll be for another night. Uh, Eric Yielding. Dwight Evans for the Red Sox. Tom O'Malley for the Mets. Barry Jones for the White Sox. Daryl Evans for the Braves. And our last card is a Cal Daniels for the Dodgers. So, no Griffey Jr. tonight, but I have absolutely nothing to complain about. Uh, let's see. I swear the top set is way better than upper deck. Hmm. I can see that argument. Uh, nice Gary Sheffield. Uh, what PSA 2 you mean? What's he referencing? Oh, you've got the 77 John Waltham rookie. It's probably worth a quarter at best. Yeah. Yep, next time. I'm I'm not I'm not in any way shape or form complaining. I think you know it's funny though we went from an empty display to full almost instantly. So that was pretty cool. Cool little redemption time. So now we're going to get to Grant's package. I'm really anxious to see what he sent. I have no clue what he sent. But uh, just to remind you guys, Grant won my uh, inaugural Home Run Derby game a few weeks ago. And if you guys don't know what that is, on Sunday afternoons, I host a little participant game where everybody who's in the chat can, can play along. There's no buy-in. It's free for anyone who wants to play. I pair you up with a team, and or even multiple teams, if, we've got enough, uh, if we don't have enough players to fill one roster, I'll, I'll give you multiple teams. And then I go through a pack of cards, uh, a jumbo pack, and I look at the home run totals on the back of each card. I add those totals to that particular team, and at the end of the pack, whichever team has the most home runs the, goes to that winner, whoever that is. And the winner wins two unopened packets, uh, packets, packs of 88. I've got an 88 Tops and an 88 Don Russ that I sh uh, ship out to the winner. And uh, Grant, Grant Nicklin here, was the, the winner of our first game we ever hosted. So, and he enjoyed it. I sent him some, and he got some good cards out of those packs. So, I guess as a, a token of his appreciation, he sent me this package, and I, I'm i just elated to get it. I don't expect it, but I'm, I'm very happy that he sent something. And I guess he'll watch the replay of this. He does know I'm opening this tonight. I sent him an email earlier, so he's aware. Okay, there's a note. So let me let me read the note offline just to make sure everything's kosher. Uh, 
Okay, I'll read this one online. It's it's got some. It's good. <clears throat> it reads, Kevin, what's going on, man? Here's a little something for you. I hope they are ones you don't have. Thanks for all you do. I look forward to more of your streams and home run derbies. But don't forget, I'm the coolest winner thus far. Ha <laughs> ha, Grant. Oh, that's funny, Grant. Yeah, Grant. Grant's a great guy. He uh, he lives up in the Midwest. Uh, well, Michigan area, I think. And uh, uh, super nice guy. I, I've communicated back and forth with him quite a bit by email. And he's a very humble and uh, just a, a, a good-hearted individual. So I, I couldn't have ha uh, hoped for a better winner for the first game. So thank you, Grant. Thank you for that. And I uh, look forward to seeing what you got here. Let me check up the chat real quick. Um, Alan says, what part of Arizona are you in? Actually, uh, Alan, I'm not in Arizona. I'm in Nevada, but I'm from Arizona. I grew up down in Yuma on the California and Mexican border. Uh, hence my uh, love for the Padres because they would come out to Yuma every uh, spring for spring training. And as a kid, we'd get out of school and first thing we'd do is we'd race to the ball field and watch the Padres play whoever was in town. And then we would hang outside the clubhouse after the game and many times we'd get their autographs as they'd come out of the clubhouse. You know, security was different back then. It was more open and uh, it was it was nothing for you to st be standing outside and Tony Gwynn just to walk right on out and run up and get his autograph. So, good times. I miss those times. Those were the good old days. KB, hey, welcome, KB. Glad you made it. You made it just in time. Uh, we're opening up a pack that I got from uh, Grant Nicklin, who won our first home run derby a few weeks back, and he sent me this awesome package. Yeah, Alan, you remember that folded Gwyn card? Yep, that's exactly how I got it. I uh, I saw him come out of the clubhouse. I ran up to him, and he signed it, and I, I folded the card up, and I put it right back in my pocket. And uh, and honestly, now if 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 the good Lord came down to earth and said, Kevin, if you want, I can make that card mint condition for you, I would reject it. And I'd say, no, just leave it as is, because I like the way it is. I like the story behind it. So um, I now I kind of appreciate what I did to it. Um, yeah. All right. Well, let's get at it. I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to see what's in here. All right. So right off the bat. Right off the bat, guys, look at look at there. Tony Gwynn, 87 tops. And, you know, truth be told, I I don't recall having this in my collection. I really don't. Um, this might be the first Tony Gwynn 87 I've ever had. I'm trying to think. I've got, oh, you know what it is? I've got some 87 All-Star Gwynns, but I never, I didn't have the base card. So this is the first base I had. I did have him with the all-star um, emblem on it. Okay, very cool. And he's got it uh, penny-sleeved up for me, too, as well. Very, very nice. Thank you very much, Grant. Yeah, I do not have this card. Um, hard to believe, but yeah, I don't have it. Well, I do now. Thank you. Robbie Ray, pitcher for the D-backs. Allen and Ginter card. Very cool. Zach Godley for the Diamondbacks. Chris Owings for the D-backs. I should be checking the years on these. So that's 2016. Okay. And a Goldie. Oh, Grant. Man. Oh, you didn't have to do this. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, you know what? Goldie is worthy of a sleeve. Whether his stats show that or not, as a human being, he deserves it. In fact, I'm I'm gonna set him aside right now. In fact, I'm gonna set that Gwyn aside as well because he's gonna go in my Gwyn PC. Another oh man, Grant, brother, you outdid yourself, man. That is too awesome. That is too too cool. Oh, man. How do you go from there? Well, a Braden Shipley rookie card. It's always good to get rookies. John Segura, D-backs. Oh. 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 <laughs> Nick Ahmed. Nick. Slick Nick. Oh, man. Nick Ahmed. 
I PC him too. Um, I, you, most of you may already know, but I, I have a signed Nick Ahmed bat in my collection. And uh, that is that is a sweet thing right there. Nick Ahmed. Jake Lamb. Future star Jake Lamb. Man, these are all good cards. I, I might as well just sleeve them all up. Mm. Baseball demo said it doesn't seem right seeing Goldie in a Cardinals uniform. You know, you're absolutely right. Baseball demos. Uh, Troy says, uh, is that go Goldie? Alan says, uh, I think that was the first Gwyn that I ever pulled from a pack. Wow, okay, yeah, it's a special card. That is a cool looking Gwyn card. Um, yeah, Goldie. Love Goldie, love Goldie. In fact, I I was so impressed with the D backs fans when he when the Cardinals pl uh, went to Chase Field and played the D backs a couple months back. He got a standing ovation, even though he was on the opposing team. He got a standing ovation by the D back fans. That's how much they respected him, and still do respect him actually. And then in that game, he goes out and hits a home run. And I I believe Troy, if you're there and you can validate this, I believe. He broke a, a home run record for that stadium that night he played against the D-backs. That is too, too cool. Brandon Drury. Rookie card. Uh, he has Manny Thomas. AJ Pollock. David Peralta. This kid, yeah, once he heals up, and I, I hope he comes back next season. Uh, injury free. It'll be good to have him back. Although I I enjoyed Josh Rojas his replacement, so I hope they can find a way to get both players in the lineup. Aaron Hill, Gerard Salta. Okay, forgive me, guys. Gerard Salta Lamakia. Salta Lamakia. Hmm. Interesting. I've I've never heard of him to be honest with you. Zach Granke, look at that, the holiday card with the snowflake. That is a beautiful card. Robbie Ray with the snowflake. Jake Lamb with the snowflake. Oh, my word. All right, break out the sleeves. I'm going to probably end up going back and sleeving up all these guys after the stream is over. Oh, I'm in Diamondback heaven here. Uh, oh, Troy's asking me, do you have any Goldie autos? Um, you want a freight train bat auto? That'd be something, wouldn't it? Yeah, actually, Troy, I, I do. Um, give me one second, Troy. Let me go grab it, and I'll, I'll show it off to you. Okay, Troy, if you're watching, I hope you're watching the screen. This is my one and only, uh, Paul Goldschmidt auto. I've got it on a, a 150, 150 year gold medallion card. And it's a top certified autograph issue. It's a sticker auto. It's not an on card auto. Um, but you know, as they say, an auto is an auto. So that, that's, uh, that might be my second favorite card, second to my Tony Gwynn auto. In my PC. Here, I'll set Goldie right there. Uh, Troy says, that is awesome. I'm trying to get that card without the auto. The Goldie 150 medallion. Okay, Troy, that's, that's very interesting you mentioned that. Um, I might have something for you. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Um, let me shoot you another email tonight. Um, I think we can make something happen there. Because I, I do happen to have another Goldie medallion card. It's not autographed, but I do have one. So I'll talk to you later about that. Uh, getting back to it. Uh, Pollock for the D-backs. Oh, look at that. A fire card. That is a sweet card. 
Look at that background. Oh, and Granky right next to it. And there's a lamb right behind that one. <laughs> Look at those. Forgive the pun, but these cards are on fire. <laughs> those are too cool. I've never seen that back that backdrop before. Man, Grant Nicklin. Grant, 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 what am I going to do with you, Grant? Hey, Cattell Marte, rookie card. Oh, sweet. Look at that on a on a Mariner card. I do not have this, nor have I seen this card before. Two thousand sixteen. Okay. Very, very nice. Very nice. Okay, David Peralta, Gypsy Queen card. Again, looking forward to him coming back. Oh, and then you got Fogo Power de la Pica. You got to be a D-backs fan to truly appreciate what I just said, but Eduardo Escobar, he is the man. Love that little guy. All right, guys, that's only half of them. Uh, Grant sent me another little pack here with the uh, Allen and Ginter lamb on the front. I, I'm I'm afraid to see what he's what he's put in here. I'm just man. I feel like I've struck gold, won the lottery, hit the jackpot, whatever else you can say. All the other analogies. Um, boy. Okay, Allen and Ginter, Jake Lamb. Will Myers snowflake card, very nice. Yep, I do. I collect Padres and D-backs. Those are my two favorite teams. D-backs first, Padres second. But uh, very, very nice. Tony Gwynn ninety. I don't think I've got this one. I've got the Gwynn ninety All Star card, and and that, that was the same case with the eighty seven tops. Somehow I ended up with All Star cards and very few actual base cards. So, yeah, I, I... Okay, that's the All-Star card. That's the one I'm familiar with. Okay, I do have one of these, but you can never have too many Gwyns. But, yeah, that's nice to get that matching one. Very cool. What do we have here? Oh, the brothers. Chris and Tony Gwynn. That's cool. I've never seen this card before either. Chris and Tony. What year is that? 92. Uh, another Tony Gwynn card. I do not have that card. Uh, okay, Cattell Marte. There we go. So there's Cattell with the Mariners and Cattell with the D-backs. Very, very cool. Another Robbie, Robbie Ray pitcher card. Zach Godley rookie. D-backs team card. Patrick Corbin. Oh, Corbin. And a Randy Johnson card. End season with 347 strikeouts. October of 2000. It's a 2015 card, but it's a, it's a, it highlights an accomplishment there. And another Goldie. Another Goldie. <laughs> oh, my word. Uh, another Goldschmidt. Oh, my word. Grant, are you kidding me? Another Goldie. Oh, my word. Okay, there's a, a top loader here, and I don't know what it is. So I'm just going to hold off on that one. But, oh, my word. I got to get all these Goldies sleeved up. Troy, I, I hope you're watching. <laughs> these Goldies are just unreal. Unreal. And there's a top loader back here, so I'm going to kind of maybe use this Goldie to unreveal it, what it is. It's a Taiwan Walker. Oh, Prism. Oh, look at that. Oh, my word. Look at that, guys. 
Look at that prism. That is a beautiful, beautiful card. Oh, let me get Goldie tucked away here. I, I, I'm. You're leaving me speechless here, Grant. You really, really are. Um, wow. Whew, that is a beautiful. Can you? I can't stop looking at that card. Archie Bradley, D backs. Robbie Ray, D backs. And another Goldschmidt, Grant. <laughs> My word, Steven Souza Jr. and AJ Pollock, Gallon and Ginter. Grant, you are a fine gentleman. And if if I ever get the chance to meet you face to face, Grant, I'd like I'd love to shake your hand and give you a hug. I just cannot express to you in words how how grateful I am and how overwhelmed I am by your generosity here. Um, this is just, this is, this is too much. It's just too much to put into words. Um, yeah. We all, we got a couple watching guys. I, I know it's Troy and Alan. I think you're the only two left here. Baseball demos. I don't know if you're still here, but, um, Troy, I'm, I'm glad you're here being a fellow D-backs fan. I know you appreciate, uh, what I just opened up here. Um, Mm. Yeah, Alan's here, Troy's here. Wow, I, I, I don't know what to say, guys. We If you guys remember, if you were here at the very beginning of the stream, it took forever. I went through the entire box of Fairfields here. I went through the whole box, and that display had nothing in it. There was absolutely no hits, nothing worth uh, displaying. And then suddenly, we got into the tops cards, and things started picking up a little bit. And then Grant just, it's kind of like, with the tops cards, we got the bases loaded. And we got the bases loaded several times over. And then Grant comes up to the plate, and he delivers Grand Slam after Grand Slam after Grand Slam after Grand Slam after Grand Slam. I mean, I don't know how else to put it in terms that we understand. That just blows me away. So I'm going to, before I start making a fool of myself and start rambling on and on and on endlessly without making sense, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream, guys, because I've got a lot of sorting and um, moving around here. i got a lot of stuff to sort out and, and put away. But I want to thank you guys for sticking with me here to the end. Um, I've been on for an hour and 40, almost an hour and 45 minutes. I didn't mean to go this long, actually, but I had no idea... Um, that Grant would just blow me away like this. Um, you know, they say what's one man's trash is another man's treasure. And uh, I, I don't know if these cards were considered trash to him, but they definitely are treasure to me. So, uh, Grant, thank you, brother, so, so much. Um, I hope I can see you again in my next live stream. Uh, Home Run Derby coming up on Sunday afternoon. When I get home from my uh, morning church service, I usually get a quick bite to eat. Then I come up here and I do my live stream. I do the home run home run derby. And then we'll probably attack some more upper deck cards this, this coming Sunday. I've got some upper deck to open up. And any mail call that may come in on Saturday. I'm still waiting for my Patreon package from Jabs to come in. So I was hoping that would come here today so I could open it tonight. But... Uh, Obviously, I don't think we would have had time for it anyway, so maybe it's best it didn't, didn't show up today. But if it does show up in tomorrow's mail, I will open that up on Sunday. So with that, guys, um, I'm going to sign off. I am just blown away right now, so I'm going to stop speaking before I say something foolish. Thank you, guys. I love all of you. appreciate you spending your time with me. God bless every one of you. Um, and a quick reminder, guys, if you haven't um, subscribed to me, please subscribe. And also hit the little bell next to the little subscribe button. The reason being, um, I didn't get much into this tonight. I didn't explain it, but I just started up a new series. Myself and Donald Blomdahl kind of teamed up on this project where every morning 
early in the morning we are uploading a new video every day and it's it's bible teaching donald is reading the scriptures directly from the bible and i am reading a morning devotional every day and it's a great way to get your day started off right and motivated and just you know if you get off on the right on the right foot your day is going to be good after that so i encourage you to watch and uh, share with us in the morning devotionals they're very short maybe three or four minutes at the most but it's a great way to to start off the day so i will end that now tomorrow morning if you can check out my devotional it'll be ready at 5 a.m pacific time it's when it uploads and i will see you all later check out my live stream on sunday afternoon as well take care guys good night